Hoo-wee. Man, am I glad to be back. You see, in the past, we've had other battles of verses between two different truly wireless earbuds, but today is going to be a little bit different. And that's because both of these earbuds, they cost less than $50. Plus, these two got the most views on my channel of any truly wireless earbuds. And that's why we're going to put them head to head. This is the Tranya T3 versus the Tautronics truly wireless earbuds. So for those of you that have seen my previous versus videos, you know that these videos are pretty linear. I do compare the two side by side, just as they sit, as they are. And of course, we're going to talk about things that uh, most consumers, including myself, want to know before making a purchase. So at the time of this recording, you can pick up the Tranya T3 for 50 bucks, but there's actually a $10 coupon, which makes this the same price as the Tautronics, which is $40. Now with both of these earbuds, customers have been raving on Amazon about them both. The T3 has a 4.5 out of 5 star rating, while the Tautronics has a solid 4 out of 5 star rating. The T3 holds 6 to 8 hours of continuous playtime and up to a total of 60 hours with the charging case. The Tautronics on the other hand can hold up to 5 hours of playtime and up to a total of about 40 hours with the charging case. But unfortunately, both do not have a quick charge feature, which some of the big brands they do come with, but these, no. But both, you know, they're durable enough to take them to the gym to break a sweat. The T3 has an IPX5 rating and has a weatherproof nano coating that prevents the water and sweat from damaging the electronics. While the Tautronics has a little bit better IP rating at an IPX6, but I couldn't find anywhere that states what the coating is on these earbuds. But all I know is that the number is greater, so the handling of the elements should be as well, if not better. Now both have the latest and greatest Bluetooth 5.0. But here's the difference. The Tautronic states that the Bluetooth range is 10 meters or 33 feet, whereas the T3 has no specifications on the range. But according to my test, the range on both of these is similar. Another great thing about these devices is as soon as you take them out of their respective cases, they're connected and they're good to go. But now that we're connected, let's talk about call quality. The T3 unfortunately only has audio coming out of the right earbud. The Tautronics on the other hand, have audio coming out of both the left and the right earbuds, which I really like. Plus they seem to be louder and have clearer call audio than the T3s. But you may be asking, well, what about lag? I mean, uh, truly wireless earbuds have been known to have some delay from what you're seeing on your screen to actually what you're hearing. Well, I'm glad to report that I haven't experienced any lag from both while using them with my Pixel 3a XL. While a lot of things are similar between these two truly wireless earbuds, there is one thing that cannot be denied, and that is the design of each. The T3 has an actual tactile button on the left and right earbuds. And both earbuds utilize taps to make different commands. The positive to actually having tactile buttons is there's less chance for error or mistake. But the negative thing is, you know, these things are already in your ear. And so when you press that button while they're in your ear, they're going to dig deeper and deeper inside your ear canal. The Tautronics, on the other hand, have a smart touch control where there is no physical buttons on either left or right earbud. And to be honest, I, I prefer this method. But I'm glad that we have options for each individual taste. So that brings us to sound quality of both. Now because of the design of the T3, you get a much better seal and a much fuller sound. The bass, it's noticeable and the mids and highs are clear. But let me forewarn you, don't put it at max volume as the highs get very tinny and can pierce your eardrums. The Tautronics on the other hand, sound just as great but it doesn't seal your ear as well as the T3 because of their design. They kind of hang out. They don't really go too deep inside your ear canal. So what that means is the bass is much more faint, but the vocals are very clear on these, even at max volume. And I had no issues with distortion or being uncomfortable. Now with both of these, you can adjust the EQ, but unfortunately uh, you can only do that with your phone's local EQ settings. There's no respective app for either device. So which one do you prefer? Let me know down in the comments below or in the card above. 
So if you're ready to buy or would like more information on either one of these devices, leave a comment down below or click the link in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell to make sure you're in the loop for all things handsome gadgets. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked the video and I guess a thumbs down if you didn't care for it. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at handsome gadgets. Thank you and have a good one.